A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So I have been digging a lot. You can see the tunnel is super, super long. I actually made, my, made myself some black strap coffee at the base and I've just been digging and digging and digging. Look at this. So much coal and nitrate available. We'll be able to make ourselves some gunpowder. We also have a ton of limestone for concrete mix and we have a ton of halite over here to be able to make salt. That's awesome. Unfortunately, at the moment, we're a little bit full, so we can't pick these up. We just stand up over here. Yeah, but basically, I actually want to see, since we have so much iron, I also actually found an iron node. I wonder if I run over here, well, I'll actually show you, be able to show you guys. We're going to pass it right now. Over here. And you get so much iron from actually digging into this iron over here. It's insane. I've only been get, so far getting trace amounts from stone. But that over there, you can get like a thousand in a few nodes. It is really, really good. Um, I'm actually thinking of starting to smelt down into my blackstrap or my blacksmith's forge. Because at the moment, we need steel, right? So why wait until we have carbon? Start smelting it down now, and then later when you need it, it's going to be there. Just jump over here, jump over here. So over here, for example, um, to make steel, you need iron, play carbon, and obviously the tools. But for now, at least, start smelting stuff in. We actually have quite a bit of clay because of all the treasures we dug last episode. Boom, boom, just do this. So now all we need is carbon. Uh, by the time uh, that's done, it's gonna, all this all is going to be smelted in. And then we can just immediately start putting the carbon in and get some steel that way. Let's just do this. Let's see, this actually shows the whole stack. It's awesome. I love the fact that it shows how long the whole stack's going to take. Usually it uh, shows like a second, 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 second for each node. But this shows the whole node as a whole. Over here we're going to go make ourselves some gunpowder. Remember, we can't make any gunpowder. Because we don't, uh, we never have this stuff. Now that we ha do, we'll be able to get so much more done. So we can never, I mean, we can never make explosives because we never have gunpowder. But with that, we can make at least 11 or 12 explosives. Boom. I need to mine way more. I'm actually enjoying it. With this pick, I'm really enjoying mining in this mod. Okay, so that goes over there. That goes over there. Iron goes over here. This is starting to fill up, unfortunately. That's why I need to smelt the iron in. As soon as I can, just start smelting. We do need quite a bit of murky water still. But now that we have that, we can finally start making this over here. Look at that, 420. I need to do the repairs to the base over here. Because during Horde Night, they did it way too much. And I want to make a slight pit over there so they can't stand each other's heads too much. That or... Oh, they already took this out. I need a way to disperse them over here. During Horde Night, they all stack on top, on top of each other and they smack these blocks over here. And we can't afford that. Obviously, if we make all of these steel, that will be a different story. But making all of that steel is going to take forever. Okay, we're going to go do this one tier 5 infested. The second one that we've been able to do so far. Do that. And then I'm going to keep the coin on me because I want to go visit the other traders as well. And I'm thinking of taking the black strap with me. Because, damn, I was able to dig a lot just now. I'll put the rest in here. Hopefully it doesn't spoil as fast as the rest of the food. When it comes to food itself, there's nothing else over here I can actually eat. Okay, so we are out of all... Oh, wait. I was about to say we're out of all the good stuff. But the chicken tacos are still there. I've, been not I've noticed we've not been getting any real drinks. Only food. It's not too much of a problem, but later we will start needing to have uh, both. Okay, so at the moment we have this smelting over here. We have this not doing anything. I'm going to make bricks and stuff over here. We can make bullet tips and uh, iron, heads and, uh, uh, iron arrow heads and stuff over there. Jerky. I have to constantly make sure that I check these because I'm constantly making stuff. And then I forget that I made them. Okay, so the food we put away and then we go for this tier 5 infested. Our very first tier 5 super infested went really well compared to our tier 2 super infested. Um, but yeah, we had a boss interrupter, so I'm hoping that's not going to be a daily thing. At least on the AK and on our crossbow, we have the anti-rad mod. But we don't have enough bullets to deal with bosses every single time. We need like a blue uh, M60 or something to be able to put a silencer on there as well. So if we fight bosses, we don't have to worry about them just constantly making so much noise and spawning more and more and more zombies. But the more that we fight right now, the more is going to show up. I thought that was a boss. That's just a freak of nature. What is this place? This looks kind of cool. That is really cool. 
It almost looks like a special kind of building, but I know that's not anything special special. Okay, so I'm going to curiously see what kind of park this is going to be. Is it an open field? Is it easy to see? Is there a bunker underneath? I'm hoping there's a bunker. Oh, this place. Okay, this is not too bad. The problem, however, is there's no place to hide. If we get too close to that building over there, we're going to fail the quest. We can jump on the fence over here, but this can burn down. I should have brought some cobble. This is going to be bad. Okay, so. Start the quest. Jump on the fence. Start shooting. I just hear a zombie to the left or right. Please don't interfere with me right now. I'm, I need to focus. If I can kill all the zombies like this just from a sneak attack, that would be amazing. But it never works out that well. Like I said, our first one got, interf uh, got interfered by, by a boss. So if it happens again, we have a problem. Only problem by shooting like this is you don't see where all your arrows land. I'm going to have to go after this and just uh, scour the whole park to see if I can pick up my arrows. At least, yeah, this is a nice open field. Why do these feel easier than the tier 2? The tier 2 super infested was way, 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 way harder. I can't see a zombie over here. It shows a red dot, but I'm not seeing any zombies. I'm hoping there's no bunker to this place. Oh, there's a snake over here. Okay, we have to also get all these plants on the way out. With all of these plants, we might be able to get some more food and stuff made. Okay, you are going to get in the way. Man, I love this crossbow. It is amazing. Oh, please. No, 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 no. It's too dark. Oh, did I skin? I didn't think I skinned the other one, did I? I mean, the only real reason we need this is for the, the leather. The hide. I don't think this whole place lit up when we started shooting just now as well, so I have to be careful. It shows that this is all the zombies and stuff that's here, but there is way more in the vicinity. Okay, if I can get to the snake. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. no, you do not. See, this is so open, this field, that if there's a boss, we have a problem. Come on, give me my stuff back. I think on this side, there's going to be more zombies spawning as soon as I start shooting. See, there's another dude over here. This can't be all of them. There's more. Yeah, you can see there's already one more over there. So the more we start shooting on one side, the more it's going to show up some more dots. Oh, there's a boss over there. No, 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 please no. That's one of the towering bosses. I'm going to have to fail this quest. Please no, please no, please no. I need to clear this quest first before I run away. He's a fiery boss. I didn't think we were that uh, late game at the moment, were we? He needs to run the other way. If he runs this way, we're screwed. I'm going to have to turn my lights off so that he doesn't see me. How high is my game stage right now? I thought a building was on fire, then I saw his arm. Game stage 292, what? How? Wow. Okay, I'll need to start skinning these over here. Because that's just going to call more unwanted attention to ourselves. I might need to run away. That dude is way too big, way too powerful right now. There's way too many red dots and I can't see them at the moment. Because I can't let that dude see me. Look how tall he is. He's a skyscraper. If I can at least snipe all of these zombies and then run away, that's all I need. Stand up, turn around, please. Can't see your HP from this angle. As I apologize for the darkness right now, but we can't afford for that nemesis to see us. That's a nemesis zombie. You can see the fire. 
<clears throat> pardon me. You can see that over there's a boss zombie. And actually, not a boss zombie, that's a nemesis zombie. And the way he moves, he's so bloody fast. The moment all of these zombies are, are dead, we can actually try and attack him. But until then, I'm not going to make a move against him at all. You saw how fast he actually moves just now. I'm going to waste all my arrows at this. The thing is, I can't get too close. Where did he go? I can't get too close to the side right now, because if I get too close, it's going to definitely uh, get him to move. Okay, it seems he's moved away, so I should be able to turn this light back on. Come on, where's the rest? I think there's a snake in the bushes over there. That's a corpse? Oh, that's a dude over there. How did I not even see him? I didn't see him at all earlier. I have to turn the lights back off because there's even more of here. There's a snake over there. That dude we killed. Is that just a tourist? Yeah. I to make sure there's no other bosses and stuff right now. Ooh, another tourist right here in the... I thought it was going to be another snake. I want to go see how tall that dude is exactly. But I can't get too close right now. Otherwise, I'm going to have to run away and fail this quest. There's a crawler somewhere. Okay, no, no, no. We don't need the bag right now. There you go. It's morning, so technically... He should be gone. No, no, no. He, they can stay during nighttime as well, right? To be careful, he's on fire. Al although I can't see the inferno anymore, so I don't know if he's... Oh, he died, I think. Is that mountain him? I need to go check. Stop speculating and get closer, Jean. I'm just so terrified. <laughs> the moment I saw the fire, I was like, no, please, no, please, no, please, no. Okay, so there's a zombie over there. That was a little bit too high. There's a vulture still on the roof. Two vultures. And there's a dude on the bottom. Oh, there's something right here next to me. What the hell? I need to aim better. What the hell? There you go. I want to make sure I pick up as many of the feathers as possible. I could have soon already killed this one. She's one of the first ones I've killed, but she's still here. Yeah. Oh, no! Desert Vulture Tom Clark! I have to kill him. Stealth, otherwise he's gonna shoot me. He's a, he's a night terror. Okay, so we have zombies with guns now. That's one of the terrors. What the hell is happening right now? Downtown is getting way, 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 way too dangerous. Please infest the cash. I want to make sure that if we kind of fail this somehow, we at least have the cash. 556, 762, 556, steal. I need better, man. Come on, you can do better. I don't I didn't think a park was gonna be this dangerous. I'm trying to not wake everyone right now as well. After we clear this place, we also want to go and loot everything. So I'm trying to make not too much noise over here so we can still focus on doing that as well. Where is that tall boss? It kind of freaks me out that I know he's here somewhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Imagine he's still standing there in the back, just inactive. And I accidentally shoot him trying to shoot these. But the fact that we can get them during daytime and nighttime, that is terrifying. Okay, so there's two zombies inside of here still. There's one zombie inside of here, yeah, then we're done. Oh, 
Why are these locked? I don't like them being locked. Hello, lady. I have to be careful. It's not just the one that can have guns. Some more can have, uh, have guns as well. I'm not safe until I kill all the ones with guns, but you can't see guns until you get really close to them as well. Is there a vulture on top? I think so. That or there's another snake over here. I'm so confused. Where's the zombie now? It's not this one. Is it? Oh, there's a snake somewhere. Is it down there? Yeah, it's down there. Okay, so we need to uh, bust this open. Okay, guys, so far, yeah, this has been terrifying. I thought these quests are going to go way faster. Hopefully, the rewards will get a helmet soon. And then... Do that. Okay, so that's a tier, second tier 2 infested done. But we just came across one of the Nemesis zombies, the Skyscraper Nemesis zombies. And also a uh, terror with a gun in his hand. It's going to get way, 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 way harder soon. So we need better gear. If I can just get to tier 5 and get myself that schematic, that's the one thing we really need right now. If I get it to, uh, that tier 5 schematic or uh, the research desk schematic, we'll be able to make our own stuff. There's quite a few things that we might be able to make as long as we have the desk. But unfortunately, without the desk, we can't make any schematics. We can't make anything. I'm going to see if we can't see this boss somewhere, but I don't think it's going to be a clever thing to go and face him. As long as there's no ferals or I don't... If I hear gunshots, I have to duck and dive because it might be another boss. And then these vultures that I've killed over here, I should probably see if I can't skin them quickly. Is that the final stash? Could have sworn there's supposed to be better gear or better loot over here. It might be on the roof, but yeah, we already got the final... The, the infested cache. But that's about it. Safe. I'm not going to attempt that right now. I don't want to waste any lockpicks. Okay, on the one hand, I want all of these nails over here, but I think I should just probably leave it for now. Unfortunately, there's too many zombies coming in right now. We could kill them all, uh, but we're already encumbered as is, so I can't afford to delete Dali over here. I need that, I need that, I need that. I need all the feathers I can find. Before I could skin the vultures, they actually despawned, unfortunately. All I'm interested in right now is just quickly getting these despawns over here, and then getting out. If we're getting just normal bosses and stuff walking like that, I want to be careful of more bosses. I do want to go see if we can't get close to that nemesis on me though. That would be fun. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if fun is the right word, but yeah. He went that direction, so... I don't think he can just die off. Since they can spawn during daytime as well, but I can't believe my game stage was that high. Wait. Is my game stage higher at night time and he spawned at night or what just happened? Because my game stage was 2-9 something just now when he, sp when he was here and now that he's gone it's back down to normal. I don't see any fire so I'm guessing he despawned. But just the thought of actually fighting that dude is terrifying. For those of you guys who want to see that uh, how he really looks, my thumbnail actually has two of them in. My thumbnail and also the video uh, showcasing, the very first video of the series. Showcasing the bosses. And that flaming big dude. It seems I'm going to have to reload after every single episode. Relog. Because at the moment, I'm getting quite a bit of stutter. Like, I don't, I don't know why I'm getting this much stutter kind of stutter. Uh, drink that. Take that. Potato don't need right now. I think it's just... Ooh. Is that screamer going to do anything to us? Wait, where did she go? Probably around the corner, right? So far, I haven't seen the streamers actually spawn anything. She might be an exception. No. Yeah, for some reason, I think the streamers are bugged. Or you have to be a certain game stage for them to actually spawn stuff in. 
Okay, let me just drop all this stuff to make some space, and then we have to go talk to the trader. I'm hoping we get a gun that actually fires 556. Although, we need that last helmet piece. Then we can start going for tier 5 infested or radiated buildings. I think I should take a break from the tier 5s and just go visit all the traders and see if they have some stuff. Thank you, survivor. Double barrel shotgun. Yes, that can give our shotgun skill up. And then this one over here. I should probably also always make sure that I have the right glasses on. If I had these on just now, I would have only been able to accept that. I need 50 steel. So the more of these we can do, the better. Smithing si Smithstone silos. Fire station. <laughs> Let's try an ultra infested. I will do that. I think we'll wait on that one. For now, I just want to go to the traders. Although, I wonder if it's not better to go to the traders at night. But then again, I don't want to mine in the desert at night. Because in the desert at night, or just not even just at night, just in the desert, your game stage actually skyrockets a bit. So if I were to go to the desert right uh, now or at the night time, uh, we will definitely get some bosses roaming around. Imagine having to fight a boss that fell down through everything to you. Just the thought scares the crap out of me. Okay, I should probably also stop for all these bird's nests, but I think instead of that, if we see a chicken, we'll stop for the chicken. If we see a vulture, we'll stop for the vulture. These bird's nests only have so much in them, um, so yeah, it's not worth it. But, obviously, if we find a field of uh, bird's nests, we'll go for that. But for now, the best thing for us to do is to go for the vultures. And if we see any boss corpses, we have to skin them as well for their terror hearts. Okay, let's see what she has for us. We should probably also check over here, because it's been a while. Goldenrod. I want to buy all of these, but uh, we have food spoilage. If this was my server, we took food spoilage off, oh, because otherwise your stuff's going to spoil too fast. That would have been perfect for us right now. A zombie dog bite you in the ass on your way out. And if he does, hey, we'll take care of it for you. Let's take care of this dude. Give him arrows back and close. There's a tourist zombie outside as well. We have to be careful of him. Beakers. I don't know if it's necessary for beakers at the moment. Supercharger. Yes. Robotic drone cargo. We don't have the robotic drone yet, but with a cargo, as soon as we have one, we'll have space. Obo stew. That's going to spoil on us. Damn, lady, what's with your options all of a sudden? You have some amazing, amazing options. Okay, let me just go through all of them one at a time. Fuel, definitely. See, we need the empty ones to make more, so if we can just buy them like that, that's also going to help slightly. Gunpowder, nitrates, anything gunpowder related or explosive related. If they actually have explosives, we'll buy them as is. Feathers for more arrows. And that should do the trick. Thank you. I, just knew you'd I mean, it didn't have all the like. cobble we wanted, but this and this is awesome. The shotgun reward from the previous one will also help during Horde Nights. I'm going to get my shotgun up high enough so we can start getting ourselves the pump shotgun. I really, really, really want to have the pump shotgun for Horde Nights. And we have to go northeast. I have to keep my ears open as well with our current game stage. Uh, well, basically, apparently at 169 or over 150 during nighttime you'll get uh, start getting terrors but at 300 you start getting them during the daytime as well but i don't think bosses count as terrors because the tier one oh no the first tier five infested super infested we did was during the daytime and we got a boss unless he just didn't die from the uh, from the nighttime and just now as well i could have sworn i did that quest at daytime and we got that super big tall nemesis zombie walking around and he if i'm not mistaken is definitely a, 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 a terror so we have to be so bloody careful now at night time. That's just a Z zombie. Sludgy dude. You have to be careful. Some of these buildings don't even look radiated until you see the fine green mist. I wonder. Remember how I said, uh, I don't know how that Nemesis zombie attacked us because our game stage was too low. And when I checked, it was like 290 something. I wonder if a tier 5 infested doesn't up your game stage. So your game stage is higher when you're doing those tier 5 infesteds. So while you're inside there, your game stage isn't 160 anymore, it's almost 300. That's why you're getting like nemesis and boss spawns. I think that might actually have been the cause. Because the moment I went away from that PRI, all of a sudden my game stage went back down. That's why I was so surprised that my game stage was so insanely high. Ooh, there's a lot of resources over there. I think for now, though, we're going to stick to the quests because we need to do these tier 5s. Oh, this is a wandering ward. 
Uh, we need to stick to the quests. I want to talk to this trader now. Now we have a problem with this wandering horde. If we stick to the quest and we get the rewards, we might be able to get some really good stuff done. I might. I just quickly want to talk to this trader and then be, I'll be out of here. This trader is going to get wrecked right now. Take your time. See your inventory. Please don't tell me they've already broken through. Great doing business with you. Okay, I don't know how you got in. Oh, okay, yeah, they already broke through. Wait, what's that? Oh, the door's open. What? Ooh, nice try. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Straight line. I'm hoping there's no other hole that they made. Otherwise, I'm going to get caught off guard. Okay, so at least we're able to deal with the, uh, the wandering hordes now. If this was the beginning, I'd die because of my stamina or broken leg or something. I'm actually going to go inside of here and then I'll just shoot my way out if I need to get out. And now I just want to quickly tick over here what he has for us. So books, wasteland treasures, vehicles. I mean, I have all the cash so I can just as well buy. Impact driver. Ooh, kind of need that. I'll buy that. That. Oh, 140,000. A proper vehicle. Well, I don't know how proper that vehicle is, but it's a vehicle. <laughs> Cruiser chassis and stuff. Cement mix. Okay. The thing is, guys, we're going to go to the Thanks desert biome now, so our game stage is going to be much higher. Get new merchandise daily. Because our game stage is higher, we'll actually have a little bit of a harder time now. Ooh, hello, you guys are making so much lag. Yeah, basically, I'm going to see if I can't go down to my oil shale mine over there. We've already started digging there, so it's a little bit safer. But I want to show you guys this before we go there. Let's just quickly see now. Our game stage is 169, right? The moment we go into the desert, all of a sudden it's going to skyrocket. <gasps> oh, there's nitrate over here and a ton of oil, sh uh, coal, I mean. No, no, this is just nitrate. I think there's actually a building that's made just for coal. Okay, so we are at our mine. Let's just quickly check our game stage. 233. 233 means we're going to start getting bosses and stuff over here. Ooh, archery skill is going up again. Hopefully just take care of all of these zombies interrupting us over here. Luckily, only the ones that saw us really need to be killed, but... Because this place hasn't had any company in a while that's going to keep spawning, 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 spawning. Okay, so I want to see how do we get this now. This goes down all the way. Yeah, I dug this out during nighttime once and I got a lot of oil shale over here. I'm going to take some black strap coffee. I'm hoping this is not going to make too much noise. And I'm going to see how do we get carbon. Because as you can see at the moment, we're just getting oil shale. I don't know if it's like super, super rare or if it is its own node. But apparently it's supposed to be like a byproduct of this. I wonder if I shouldn't try digging a little bit more down into the earth. Like it might be over here, into this block here. But I see just stone. This is the same resource we get if we're just digging stone. So I don't think it's this. I don't know if I'm supposed to get like a special uh, block. I haven't seen any other blocks over here. Just uh, oil shale. So it might be its own node on top. But yeah, I don't see any special carbon. Unless we have to put points into mother load over here to be able to get more stuff. It just says more ore. It doesn't say special ore though. Over here, mining tools. Unlock steel. What does this say over here? Harvest count. Loot prob. Yeah, it's, it says nothing about carbon. I'll just keep digging over here and see how much I can get. I'll dig until more or less nighttime. I don't want to be in the, uh, here at nighttime because it's just going to be way too dangerous. Ooh, I found it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, what about this? It just looks like normal stone. See, I thought, okay, let me just dig down to bedrock because carbon, is it sounds compressed. It sounds hard. And it was the right call, it seems. But it just looks like normal stone. How much did I get just now? Oh, no, that's chromium, not carbon. Chromium is just an ore to make chrome. Oh, come on, I need carbon, man. I wonder if I am in the right... Uh, people have been telling me that uh, carbon is in the desert. It's a byproduct of oil shale. But I'm not seeing any byproduct of the shale. I'm just seeing sh uh, shale itself. 
I feel like this is gonna be a very long time. Um, it might be next to the chromium. What color was that just now? It was just a normal stone block, like a random block. I think uh, the carbon itself is gonna be super, super rare to come by. Okay, it looks like stone, but almost like it has a little bit of gloss over it. It's still not carbon though. I'm looking for a spare. I wonder if I'm not too uh, too far down. Perhaps chromium is at uh, bedrock, and then the carbon is a little bit further up. Who knows? Perhaps if I smelt this down, we'll get carbon, but I doubt it. Carbon is uh, supposed to be like a very dark, almost like a coal-colored block. It looks like charcoal, but it uh, is the color of coal. Okay, I think I'll just have to go through the comments again, and then just ask around a bit, because, yeah, we've definitely been getting the chromium, but no carbon. So at the moment, we're going to have to rely on our quest. At least we got some uh, coal and nitrate and stuff, so we'll be able to make even more gunpowder. But the next night we won't only have molotovs, we'll also have some explosives. So yeah, now at least we've started to get some of the, like, special loots and stuff. It's just, I need carbon. And I haven't gotten a single core, even by smacking a ton of oil shale, by smacking the stone around. It's by smacking the stone around that I got the chromium, so I'm guessing it's either a little bit further up, I'm too far down. Where am I supposed to go? I need to look up. <laughs> I got stuck down here now. There's definitely a tunnel leading up somewhere. So we are. But yeah, basically, like I said, uh, we're just going to have to see if we can't just get lucky and get a little bit further up. It might just be that I just went a little bit too far down. Like at bedrock, it's chromium. A little bit further up, it's carbon. A little bit further up. We'll see. Uh, I'll just have to check the comments. So if you guys know, please comment down below. Remember, I record weekly. So if I do not uh, adjust my playstyle or... Get, get what you've already commented. It just means that it's not been a week yet. But yeah, I think we're going to have to go back to the base because I'm way too encumbered right now. And we need to go drop some stuff off. Okay, and we are finally at the base. I think I should probably put the chromium in here so I can start smelting down. Unfortunately, it's not the resource that I was looking for, but hey. Imagine I look over here and I'm like, oh, awesome, it's here. <laughs> um, yeah, none of them. I wasn't actually looking for steel at them as well, unfortunately. Let me just see over here. I need 14 more steel for the crossbow repeater. And we need another box for this. I'm going to have to make one box for resources of here. I think what I'm going to do for the rest of the night is... I need to get rid of this of here. If we fall down, I need to make myself a way up on that side. And then this side I can block off so I can move this over one and put more boxes. Unfortunately, that is solid. There's nothing... You can't put anything above that. So I want to go put more for more resources of here because these resource boxes are just insanely full right now. Do that, and then for gunpowder, we go over here, but we need more wood. So I'm just going to call it episode here, guys. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the evening and the whole night just mining downstairs. Um, yeah, it's not the desert biome, but at least we should be able to get quite a bit done as well. Let's do that. Yeah, we should be able to get quite a bit of mining done, especially if I take all of the black strap coffee. Yeah, I want to use it before it actually starts uh, just getting bad. At the moment, everything is spoiling over here, so I want to make sure I use the stuff. But if you guys like this episode, please like it, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.